So I want to uh, finish with a poem. And after I've read the poem, I'm going to ask for your reactions to it. Um, this is, oh, does anybody know who, who this is by? No reason that you would. Uh, is by Paul Bayes, who was until recently the Bishop of Liverpool. Uh, of course, we, uh, we know Bishop John, who is his successor. Um, here's the poem. And after I read it, as I say, I'll, I'll ask um, if this adds to our conversation about uh, getting everyone a place at the table. The table is simple, but it's well made because the man who made it was a carpenter. It has many uses. A table for meeting, talking around, thumping, signing treaties, debating, arguing, voting, but mostly a table for eating. You can't sit alone at this table. You can't buy a meal here or a ticket here. Everything is freely given. You can sit here with people you don't know and be bound together. A poor man feeds you in a way that means you never go hungry again. So this is a slightly obvious question, but what is the table? It's a communion table, an altar. Yeah, yes. He must be talking about a communion table, I think. And? The Feast of the Kingdom. Ah. So do you mean he's talking about something that doesn't exist yet? Well, that's a debate of does the eschatological exist already and we just can't see it. But no, okay. I, I think it's, it, but no, because we're invited to the table here and now, which is will be fulfilled in the eschaton. Right. Okay. Yeah. I think he does mean that, doesn't he? That, that, that this is about the great table at the great banquet. And? I mean, church, mm. body, the body of Christ, us. Yeah. What a picture of, and, and of course, this is taken from his book called The Table, at which he says a table is the best, well, he, he commends the metaphor of table for the church that a church is a place where people come and sit together at a table. Um, everything is freely given, that, that this is a place of sharing and generosity and openness. Yeah, so it's church and? It reminds me of the book, Eat This Bread by Sarah Miles. Okay. Do you know, right. she she be, was converted by walking into a church and receiving communion, um, and um, and set about um, feeding the hungry, providing lunches in church, and and the book ends with the kind of vision of all the people that she knows being there. So it's a kind of sort of 
it's that yeah now but not yet thing mm. oh that's wonderful and I mean, Hayley, th this sounds a bit like what you were describing, no? Yeah, it does, actually. It makes me really happy to think that. That um, I really, you know, the last line is just really powerful to me. That we're fed by each other. You know, we're all, it, it doesn't matter where we, what, what we're like when we come in, rich, poor, you know, that, that doesn't just, just disappears at the door, that we feed each other. And that's not that's all we need, you know. We need that. That's that's amazing. Yeah. Sorry, it's not very well expressed, but it's very powerful. No, no, yeah. no, absolutely. But but you were saying that thing of it's, you know, it's becoming more and more power with. Yeah. In that sort of. Yes, people want to join in. Or, yeah, sorry, it's it's not made like it's a it's just it's, it's a, a they're call, we're calling it cameo. It's just cameo, it's not okay. a particular age group. It's come on the yeah, yeah. be warm, have a free lunch, and actually because people receive that hospitality, it's opening up in them something of wanting of seeing something in it that they want to be part of. Oh, I want to share as well. I want to because I can see you really joyfully serving, uh, you know, us me. I want to be able to serve as well. And then it's a kind of virtuous circle or a virtuous waterfall of loveliness, isn't it? So that's yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, it's excellent. So, so that and I was that. just thinking it reminds me of kind of the negotiating table. And when it says, um, but mostly a table for eating, kind of like chewing over the difficult issues and sharing with each other. That's kind of what I was thinking. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, um, no, that's that that's good, because because I'm pretty sure that Paul Bay does have the negotiating table in mind. But. But all of these things come together that that that, yeah. Um, and we've sort of, it would seem unprofessional, you know, if there was a problem in our local community, it would seem somehow unprofessional to um, ask uh, the council leader or police commissioner or somebody um, to come and join us for a bring and share lunch, we'd think actually what you need is a thing in a boardroom with an agenda. But actually maybe what really makes a difference is bringing those people in with some of the people that are suffering or have got particular issues that you've listened to and saying, actually, I'm going to back out of the way, but I'm going to seat you two people next to each other, and I hope you're going to have a good conversation about that. And? Christ. Ah. So how many times does Christ appear in this poem? In every line. Ah. Okay. So I see the carpenter bit that's clearly a reference to jesus what where else is which other lines is jesus in a table for meeting and talking around something and so forth that's the psalms that's our interaction with god um, ah, so it might not be the council leader that we're thumping the table and signing things and debating and it might be god who's we're thumping the table at sometimes, yeah. 
where else is Christ? As he's the poor man who feeds us in a way that we never go hungry again. Eat this bread and you will never go hungry again. He's the bread of life. Absolutely. Even though everything is freely given as well. Yeah. And, and I think you can't sit alone at this table. Because you might say, well, no, because, I mean, the table's there, presumably in a church building in his imagination. And sometimes, you know, the door's open, but there's nobody else there. And I guess Paul Bayes would say, no, no, you're never alone at this table, even if you can't see the other person who is sitting with you. So there you go. I, I offer it to you. Um, I believe community organizing is a wonderful tool for the fourth mark of mission, that is for uh, challenging the unjust structures of society, but doing it in a way that is human and constructive and relational and isn't just shouting at people in power that they're horrible. Uh, but I also believe that community organizing is a tool to put invitation back at the heart of church because what we want is everyone to have the, their place at the table in this sense we want everyone to feast at the eschatological banquet that t rightly identifies and they get their first taste of that that they, they, they get the hors d'oeuvre now um, in our weak and fractured communities they they get their first taste of god here and now as they are welcomed at our tables that will then find its fulfillment in the michelin style starred meal that is waiting one day when god puts the earth the heavens and the earth to rights um so, so actually, a journey through community organizing for a Christian, I think, it starts absolutely um, with uh, uh, organizing and building a relational culture and all of those things. Um, absolutely. Um, it, um, it continues. Uh, in listening, uh, we can't do anything unless we listen uh, to people. Uh, there's some planning to be done, uh, even in our new post strategy, Diocese of Chelmsford, there does need to be planning. Um, it continues in action because faith without action is dead. We do need to do things for the common good but it and and it ends yes at negotiating tables because we're trying to enable people to sit down as brothers and sisters with the decision makers um, and change the world through conversation around a table but it also finishes by all people being invited and coming to the table of God, where they are fed in a way that means they will never be hungry again. Thank you so much for traveling with us for these six modules. Um, have a very good rest of your evening. Um, please fill in an evaluation. It will be sent to you by Eventbrite automatically. Uh, but thank you very much. Take care. Good night. Bye, Andy. Thank you. Good night, Andy. Thank you.